Hi guys, this is Yami Gautam. Hi guys, this is Ritik Roshan and you are watching the T-Series official YouTube channel. Tere mere sapne sabhi band aankhon ke taale mein hai Chabhi kahan dhoonde bata Ho chand ke piyale mein hai Phir bhi sapne kar dikhaan Sach to kehna bas yehi Main tere kabil hoon ya Tere kabil nahi Main tere kabil Kabul is a very appropriate title for this film because in the film and outside the film it is uh, asking you to know that you are able and capable of doing all the things that you ever have dreamt of doing. So each one of us has the ability and the capability to be more, to do more and so we should not we should not feel that we are not capable so i think that is why this uh, title is very appropriate not just for the film but as a word it's it's a beautiful word and i think we realize especially i, I can speak for definitely because we've seen it live uh, this song launch that we had would always remain very special because uh, the performance that the band gave uran it really, I think, gave Uran to the fact that uh, each one of us is Kabul and maybe much more than what we think of us till the time we, uh, I think, rediscover or discover ourselves. Sometimes we're looking too much out there, but when you, maybe when this is, maybe when I can't see, maybe that's when maybe rather I'm more connected. That's the time when I'm more connected to myself. I was very passionate about the film. And when you're passionate about something, you don't, it doesn't feel like hard work. I was uh, very enthusiastic, very passionate. And it all came from the script. Script aise thi ke, it impacted me a lot. So I was very happy doing this film. I think we all were very happy, you know, doing this film. So it uh, was, it was work, it was a lot of work. And I think uh, to an outside person, a third person, it will look like a lot of hard work because, you know, just continuously into it and yeah, you know, doing it again it and again. Though, but it was, but we were enjoying it, so I wouldn't yeah. call it hard work. I would call it uh, happy work. Happy work. A lot of things like that. I mean, it's it's not a actually it's yeah. not a lot of things. It is one simple fact that uh, we are visually impaired, so uh, everything that we are doing in the film trickles down from the fact that you cannot see. So when you cannot see. There, there's more attention to what you can hear and to sense somebody else's presence becomes primary. It, it becomes the most important uh, thing. And I think in this film, I think uh, both Yami and I have actually played it blind because uh, we have, I've actually sensed her presence in every single shot. And uh, I think that's what uh, yeah, she also absolutely. says that she has done. So when you sense someone's presence, you're a lot more attentive and you will catch a lot more, uh, you know, things about that person, about the tone of the voice and you will sense a lot it's more. True. So it's like she uh, says, you know, when you, you can't see, you're more connected. And I think that's what uh, transpired through the making of this film. The first time, it's the first love story where both the protagonists mm -hmm. they are visually impaired yet it's, it's the first time in indian cinema yeah. that you uh, are we are, you know it's talking about a love story <clears throat> where the guy and the girl who are in love lovers are blind it's uh, never been done yeah. and i didn't know that until and, two, and three days um, back yeah and there's there's no sympathy factor or some, any sorry factor about anything not apologetic about anything because that's how they are in real life sing, they dance, they have fun, they, and it's one of the most purest love stories uh, I have ever come across and we hope that you'll connect with us the same way. The producer, I think, is the most important um, person while you're making your film because that is a person who actually uh, guides, you know, he's, he's, the, he's the top, he's at the top of it all. So uh, we were very happy, very secure, protected, I think. Uh, as long as my dad was not saying anything, that means we're all going on the, uh, the right track. At least that much trust we had. Apart from that, I think uh, he has a very good sense of uh, cost and of also direction. So he knows that how much time 
uh, you know, a particular scene must take. And if we can complete a scene in one day, it should be done in one day. And uh, we sh if uh, Sanjay and I feel that, you know, we'll take at least two days for this scene, he would put his foot down and say that, no, this is a scene that uh, needs about uh, six, five, six, seven shots. So it should be done in one day. Then we used to say, actually, he's right. Chalo, let's, uh, let's try and do it in one day. <laughs> Just stuff like that, which uh, is great because it's all uh, coming from a more experienced person's um, uh, mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are learning. My favorite song uh, is definitely Kabil Hoon. I'll uh, go for Mona Moore. Urvashi has done a fantastic job. And I've, uh, I also saw uh, uh, some uh, uh, YouTube uh, thing of her rehearsals of the song, the making video. And she was, she's just, when you see the making video, you actually uh, can see so much more because, you know, the it's without the lighting and all of that so you can just understand what she has brought into the song and I think she's done a beautiful beautiful job working with Sanjay has been so comfortable Sanjay is all heart yeah. he's a very emotional person very sensitive very humble uh, at the same time he knows what he wants I knew from the beginning that I am in good hands because he narrated the script to me uh, by heart without looking at the script and he was able to pass on the entire impact of the film visually and emotionally uh, to me. So any person who can do that, in my opinion, if you can pass on your what you're seeing in your mind, if you can pass it on to me and make me see it, that means you can express it on screen. So he could do that, you know, he made me emotional, he, my hair was, uh, you know, standing and I was really impacted. And I knew at that time that that's it, this person knows what he's doing, this is the right person for this film. He is actually, I don't think any other filmmaker could have done what Sanjay uh, has done with this film because he also, along with these things, he also has uh, the technical edge, you know, he's... Uh, He's so good with his camera and his lighting and his artistic uh, conceptions uh, that it has given Kabil a, a very strange, nice, beautiful twist, you know. So, which is what has made it new, you know. It's it, Kabil's look looks like a, a modern, edgy film because of that.